I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a Yamaha U1, which uh, I have sold so, so many of these over the years. They are just great pianos. Um, they last forever. They sound great. They play well. They endure. Um, very few uh, mechanical issues or, or warranty calls that we get. People, you know, call in and say a sticking key or a squeaking pedal or something like that. Very, very few of that on the Yamaha U1s. Um, and Yamaha claims that it's the number one best-selling piano of all time, which which I think it very well may be. They, they, they're still manufacturing them. Um, uh, they have been manufacturing them for, what, about uh, 60 years or, or more, something like that. So so they're just, I mean, it's just a super successful piano. Um, and and every, every musician, every piano player knows about the Yamaha U1, or at least has has played on has played on probably many Yamaha U ones in in their uh, tenure as a as a piano player. Uh, customers, I, I've got lots of customers with with U ones, many many of which I've sold them, and many many of which they've they've gotten elsewhere, and and it's just it's just always a really really easy appointment. I know that if I'm going to tune a, a Yamaha U one, it's just going to be you know just just in and out, everything is gonna go smoothly, and, and it always does. Okay, this particular one, 1978, that's the, the year I was born, 1978, so it's- Lucky piano. So yeah, I mean, it's basically new, basically a <laughs> brand new piano. So young. So young, such a young <laughs> piano. But uh, as, a, as a general rule, pianos, they have about 20 to 25 years of, of excellent use, and then, and then they need they need refurbishing, and then they have another twenty to twenty five years. And this piano has had that refurbishing. We've gone through it and, and cleaned it, reshaped hammers, realigned things, regulated um, everything so that the touch is correct, um, lubrication, tightening, voicing, all of those things. The the intention, the goal, is to make it like new on the on the inside, and then the outside, same thing. This this piano is all is all buffed out. If you've ever seen, if you ever seen what people use for for buffing, like a car car buffer with a cotton wheel on it and buffing compound going over it, that's same thing. This this piano uh, this type of finish buffs out really well and makes it um, nice and shiny and makes it brand new, looking like like this. Same with the the pedals and the other metal hardware here, like the hinges and the lock, that sort of thing. All of that is, is taken care of like new. Um, Yamaha has the, has the reputation for being very bright, which this piano actually is not. It's, 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 it's fun to play bright and powerful Yamaha U1s, but uh, it's also refreshing to play one like this that, that is more, I wouldn't say it's dark necessarily, but, but maybe more middle of the road. slightly on the on the darker side of middle I think that's actually really refreshing just has a really nice tone and 48 inches by the way is is kind of the the, the starting point in my opinion below that 45 inches 46 inches or you know something less than that it's it's better than the digital for sure, but it's not. It doesn't quite have that that power that that I want, or the the richness of tone that you can get with that starts at 48 inches. And the reason for that, I'm not 100% sure. Just for whatever reason, the engineering kind of works out that that. Uh, I mean, the bigger the bigger the piano, the better. The longer the strings, the bigger the soundboard, all of those kinds of things. The engineering just kind of works out better. It fits. Um, or, or, or the, the, the engineers have to fit the cabinetry that, that they're designing for, and they can't really get this kind of tone with less than 48 inches.
something about this piano. It's kind of a, it's kind of an emotional piano a little bit. Um, that's, that's the kind of music that it sort of calls for. You can probably play it loud and bombastically if you wanted to, but it just that just sort of seems like the what it what it sort of calls for. So uh, check it out, see what you think. You're welcome to try this piano. You can schedule an appointment with me um, online on the, on the website, or you can just come in. We're open 10 to 6, Monday through Saturday. And as you can see, we have lots. Why don't you do a kind of a 360? You can see we have lots and lots of pianos available, not just this one. This The U1 happens to be an extremely popular one for, for good reason. Um, but uh, yeah, lots of others to, to choose from if this one doesn't totally fit, doesn't speak to you like Harry Potter's wand, but hopefully it will. <laughs> Thanks for watching.